longtime political prisoner in the United States oh, New York grabbed up and tortured uh, named Alex Saab. You've probably heard me cover that story before. He's been in, he was initially, um, initially kidnapped in uh, Cape Verde, basically at the request of the United States. This is a Venezuelan diplomat. And you'll notice the New York Times headline says, which is the same as most mainstream media, U.S. releases ally of Venezuelan president. Well, at least they're acknowledging Maduro as the president. That's a big mm -hmm. step. But he's not just an ally. He is a Venezuelan diplomat who was on a diplomatic mission to, uh, Iran. to Iran. Yeah, to basically, and I'm right now I'm reading from the uh, the National Lawyer, 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 wow, why can't I say lawyer? Uh, try this, loyal -er. law, 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 lawyer, national that word guild, um, <laughs> <That's my> lollipop, <laughs> national lollipop guild. Yeah, there needs to be one, I'm just saying. Um, so he was, as you pointed out, he was kidnapped when he was on his, he was a special envoy for uh, for Venezuela, and he was arrested. He was going to Iran. Because we all know this, but uh, Venezuela is having a rough time because of U.S. sanctions. Uh, tens of thousands of people have died because of U.S. sanctions in mm -hmm. Venezuela. And so Alex Saab, one of his unfortunate duties was to try and ensure that more people didn't die. So he was on his way to Iran uh, in order to do that. And he was kidnapped without a warrant uh, with an Interpol red notice received only after he was arrested. So they went back after he was already arrested and was like, oh, I guess he's here. Um, and uh, there were a series of charges related to the violation of U.S. sanctions. So the U.S. kidnapped a diplomat in uh, a country that is not the U.S., not Iran, and not Venezuela, <laughs> uh, didn't have a warrant for his arrest and only came with an Interpol uh, notice after he was arrested and his crimes were all related to U.S. sanctions, which according to the U.N. are illegal. So mm, there's just a lot to unpack there. And a lot to unpack was, there. And he pretending. was tortured. He was yeah. waterboarded. Waterboarded, also tortured to the point that several of his teeth were knocked out. For seeking humanitarian aid. And like, even if the sanctions were legitimate, that's basically like committing an economic crime, right? And so he was treated like a, basically like a terrorist. Now I understand that what the U.S. calls terrorists are oftentimes not, uh, but he was treated like a terrorist and uh, tortured. And again, no one should be tortured, uh, basically just for doing his job of trying to secure humanitarian aid for Venezuela. So that's like the backstory of this. And this has been going on for quite some time. Obviously, he, this was 2020 when he was kidnapped. Uh, so, yeah, this is a, a big, a big deal. And it was in exchange for 10 uh, American prisoners that the U.S. wanted back. Uh, but yeah, I think you, you summed it up well, uh, how insane it is, how much against international law it is. And as was the U.S. stealing the Venezuelan embassy in Washington, D.C., also against international law, because technically that is Venezuelan ground, despite it being in Washington, D.C., according to international law. And the U.S. still managed to steal it and give it to a guy who had never received a single vote for president of Venezuela. Also, going back to Alex Saab, because the, the NLG shared this, which... Not the NFL. Different thing. And they said... Didn't I say NLG? Yeah, I was just clarifying for people, not the NFL. Oh, because yeah. I was like, I never even mentioned no, the NFL, you, so it'd be weird if I slipped up and said that. You okay. said NLG. So, uh, according to the New York Times, he was arrested, kidnapped, uh, in order to, quote, help untangle Mr. Maduro's economic web of support and assist the authorities in bringing charges against other allies of the Venezuelan government, end quote. So that's why he was tortured, so that they could untangle Mr. Maduro's economic web of support. Right. What which does that sentence even mean? Which if a country is behaving like a regular country, of course they have economic support. So the decision of the U S to declare everything Venezuela does to try and help their people illegal is just bullshit. The U S did. 
that's <laughs> yeah like I don't know. It's all so laughable and horrific, and and the, the way the U.S. believe behaves with zero accountability. Anyway, very exciting. I've been covering the Alex Saab story for years now, and very exciting that he is now finally freed again. Next up, Julian Assange. Right, right. Anyone? Anyone? 